One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God? Since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, I was born in upstate New York, Rochester. At a young age, uh, I accepted Jesus Christ uh, as my Savior and was baptized that same week. I grew up in an independent Baptist church. It was always, you know, you're not good enough. You, know, you felt that way. But as I got in my teens, I did not want to serve God because I saw what it was. Uh, it was obligation. It was making me feel like I wasn't good enough, and I would always fail. I grew up being a Catholic, um, but my my parents didn't take us often to church, but they never opened the Bible. They never read the Bible. So as a teenager, we grew up, and my mom and dad, they never take us anymore. I'd, I'd probably say in my mid-20s, I had a moment where I should have been on top of the world. Financially, accolades from what I did for work and everything on a vacation, but uh, I was miserable. And uh, I prayed, and God just spoke with me. I realized that, yeah, I'm never good enough, but because of the blood of Jesus Christ covers our sin, we are good enough not because of anything we can do, but because of what he's already done on the cross. I surrendered to him in the darkest time of my life. I felt like I was a lot of heavy on my, on my shoulders, trying to do it all at once. I fall on my knees and one night, and I said, Jesus, please help me. After I surrendered to him, I felt um, relief. I think about four, three or four years ago, Selena and I are trying to make a decision to sell our home to buy a business that we had not even picked out yet. And the Holy Spirit kind of rushed into our home. And God led me to Jacksonville, not even a mile away from the North Jacksonville campus of 1122. Um, I found a restaurant. Uh, it's called Terry's Grill. Uh, it's been there for 30 years. It's a staple in Ocean Way, North Jacksonville. I took over the business, business on January 10th, 2023. Selena and I call Terry's our church because it gives us an opportunity to share Christ with people every day. It's not about a restaurant. It's not about anything other than I have given you something and I've prepared you to open up your big mouth and share what I've done for you and her. But when you're walking in his will, there's peace and joy and happiness. There's a fulfillment that you can't get from anything else. That's an abundant life. Abundant life is the only way you can find it through Jesus. That's the fulfillment is through him. And we don't deserve it. We don't. His love is grace to us and forgives us even though we don't deserve it. We don't deserve the grace. And we finally acknowledge it. It can knock us off our feet uh, and realize it's not about us, but about Him. And then we want to share that love and share that grace with others. <laughs>